Wag one, guys. I hope we're all Gucci. Let's all like talk about this like COVID-19. It's such like a Debbie Downer on our society. <laughs> can't do it. I can't do it. The message today is this. Be kind. Because in a time of crisis, we don't want to make a drama out of it. Because there are people who are less fortunate than you who are suffering. And it's difficult to know who to trust. Do we trust the government who have lied to us before? Do we trust the media who have sensationalised pretty much everything before and distorted the truth to sell the newspapers? Who do we trust? Do we trust um, the person on the internet who's feeding your insecurities, feeding your cognitive bias? It's difficult, isn't it? There is so much information out there. There is so much misinformation out there. It's difficult to know who to trust. So why am I talking about that? Because I get pretty fed up with plonkers on the internet talking about something they have no right to talk about. Guess who I'm talking about? People who are unqualified, uneducated, and frankly, too ignorant on the subject to be advising people about what they should do. You'll notice that I always speak in generalities. I never make closed statements. Although that's a close statement, isn't it? <laughs> because I am literally doing these videos to hopefully raise awareness, educate, but I'm not telling you what to do. Because I don't know you. I have no right to be telling you what to do. And you shouldn't listen and take everything that I say verbatim and as gospel, what you should do is hopefully take my opinion, think about it, put it into your computer in your head, have a listen to the chimp, have a listen to the human, and decide what's best for you. I have nothing to sell you apart from my knowledge and my experience but I'm not telling you what to do. So, lots of people on the internet want to make a name for themselves. They want to be the next big thing. Now, a lot of these people ain't built up no points yet, boy. Um, testosterone deficiency is a medical condition and testosterone replacement therapy is a medical therapy. It's really very confusing when you see people who have literally no formal education on the subject talking about something and making bold, brash statements uh, and belittling shouting down and making the whole community dysfunctional because it doesn't serve in anyone's benefit apart from in their mind their own you must all listen to me i speak the truth i am the prophet no i'm not i'm just dr san islandi trying to do a video before clinic. I'm trying to hopefully spread the word. If 
for you to make the right choices. You're all big boys. Make your own decisions. But choose wisely. Because when people make bold statements and talk with a dogma, be cautious of what they say. Because medicine is a practice. It means it's ever evolving. So if somebody says, never do this, never do that, um, and they don't know your personal situation, circumstances, then run a mile. I've helped thousands of men. I've, no, listen, I've helped millions of men. I've helped billions of men. And wow, I'm not even a doctor. Uh, I've just given random advice over the internet and I take no responsibility for the advice I give. So if harm happens, oh well, sorry, not my problem. It's scary. It really is very scary. And um, the in you can say what you like on the internet. I've tried all the esters. I've tried dailies. I've tried weeklies. I've tried sticking it up my ass. And I feel best on one, two, five of Sustanon every five days. I could say that it wouldn't be true, but I don't have to back it up, do I? Some random on the internet trying to tell you what you think you need to know or want to know. It's really quite worrying. So... As a medical doctor, I have to be accountable for everything that I do and I say. Because my actions can cause harm. I insist on a face-to-face -face consultation because I want to look my patient in the eye and I want to have that assurance, reassurance that I'm doing the right thing. I am acting in their best interests. And they want that assurance as well. So when you buy testosterone and you have a sales consumer relationship with your uh, provider, you can't have that assurance or reassurance because it's just not there. What we'll do is um, we'll set up a consult with your medical facilitator to talk about your bloods. And then I will relay the information to the doctor, the doctor that I refuse to name, the doctor that in your contract you're not allowed to name. That's worrying, isn't it? Um, and then uh, I will relay what the doctor has said to me to tell you. Now when you talk about efficiency and effectiveness that is neither efficient or effective now we've all heard chinese whispers stories are distorted when they go through numerous channels so horse's mouth to the patient why would you have a middleman involved in your medical therapy. A middleman who carries no responsibility for giving you bad advice. Scary stuff, isn't it? So, this coronavirus pandemic is gonna show people's true colors. We shouldn't cut corners. You should continue to act in the best interests of the individual and the collective. So, stay home, wash your hands, adhere to the government recommendations because this virus, this pandemic is very real. Two of my buddies are on the front line, AD consultants. 
and uh, yeah, they're pretty stressed. If it amounts to a storm in a teacup and we do manage to flatten the curve through our actions, amazing. But we'll have done the right thing. You'll have done the right thing by yourself and by your fellow man. You'll have demonstrated to the rest of the world that you are a positive member of society. You are somebody who can be trusted and you can therefore be somebody that can be listened to in the future because humans need community. You need to be comfortable on your own, but we do better in communities. And with so much mistrust, so much misinformation, this will continue, but you need to know who you can trust. And I think it's quite clear when you listen to people on the internet, who you can trust. Listen to this, listen to this, and stay safe.